Hey guys, so today's video is going to be the continuation of my bookshelf tour where I'll show you all the TBR books I own. Now I don't have all of my TBR books on this shelf. Some of them are at school, so I can't show you those right now, but I'm going to include those in the description. Um, so I'll have a list of the ones that aren't shown in the description if you're curious. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So up here that you cannot see is The Boy and the Beast Light Novel by Mamoru Hosada. Um, that goes up there because it fits up there. Uprooted by Noah Minovic. And I Darken by Kirsten White. Fellside by M.R. Carey. Um, the Water Knife by Paolo Bagigalupi. When We Were Animals by Joshua Gaylord. Um, Slasher Girls and Monster Boys by April Genevieve Tuchok and a bunch of other authors. The Summer That Melted Everything by Tiffany McDaniel. Um, My Sister's Keeper by Jody Paco. Up there we have Theft of Swords by Michael J. Sullivan. Um, the Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. Half a King by Joe Abercrombie. The Pirate's Daughter by Margaret Cesar Thompson. The Book of Speculation by Erica Swyler. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski, which I think is the most intimidating book on my bookshelf. Um, next is Malice by John Gwynn. The Hate You Give by Andrew Thomas, which I need to read as soon as possible. Um, Wonder by R.J. Palacio. Um, Wings of Fire, book 10. Darkness of Dragons. Um, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Up here, we have The Hobbit by J.R. Tolkien, which I've read Oh, I don't have a bookmark in it, but I read about half of it and then put it down like a year ago. And then here is Luck in the Shadows by Lynn Flewilling. Um, up there you can't really see is Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman. The Crimson Skew by S.E. Grove, the, the last book in the Mapmakers trilogy. We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The Serpent King by, I don't remember his name, but his last name is Entner or her name. Um, Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. I'll move this a little rabbit. Um, The Golem and the Ginny by Helene Wecker. And Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. On the next shelf, these are two. Um, this is the one I'm currently reading, and this is one I'm going to start pretty soon. Um, so this is Wings of Fire, book nine, The Talons of Power. And this is Junie Tyson, Zodiac War. This is technically a light novel. But I didn't really know where to put it. Um, it was a novel, so I decided to put it with these ones. Up here, we have More Than This by Patrick Ness, which I've had on my TBR forever, but I'm still really interested in it. Um, the Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Night Film by Marcia Pessel. The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. Um, the Child Thief by Brom. The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North and Time Salvager by Wesley Chu. Up here I have some more mass market paperbacks tucked away. That one is Shogun by James Clavo. Next is Bag of Bones and Night Shift by Stephen King. I can't see this. This is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I almost dropped on the floor. Um, the Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Brooklyn Burning by Steve Brezinoff. And Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Then we have The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Battle Royale by Koshun Takami. I want to read that very badly. <laughs> the Dinner by Herman Ko. There's a way to pronounce that last name, and I do not possess the skill to pronounce that last name. Um, Under the Banner of Heaven by John Krakauer. I feel like this should be on the other shelf where my other nonfiction is, but that's where it is for now. Sabriel by Garth Nix, Fortunately the Milk by Neil Gaiman, 1984 by George Orwell, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, this is the only series I own by Libba Bray that I haven't read, um, The Sirens of Titan by Kurt Vonnegut, Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, Bend by Nancy J. Hedden, the only reason I own that is, is because it's set in Minnesota, <laughs> Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson, Beyonders by Brennan Mull, The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin, which is another one I'm really excited for. And then Falling to Earth by Kate Southwood, which I got from my grandparents and still have not read. Um, up here, you can't see, is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Um, Hood by Stephen R. Lawhead. I used to own the complete series in a hardcover version, but then I realized that I don't like big giant books like that. So I got a regular paperback version. 
um, A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron, Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames, The Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan, The Long Walk by Stephen King, Mort by Robert Rapino, which I don't know if I'll ever read, but it's there for now. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safan, A Brief History of Seven Killings by Merlin James, I don't know why that one's upside down, um, and The Snow Child by Ewan Ivey. And then lastly, down here on the shelf, um, we have some other books that used to be on the other shelf until I moved them over here for this video. This is the bind up of Legion and the Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson. I have read Legion, but I had not read The Emperor's Soul because that goes after Elantris. The Prisoner of Heaven by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, which is a book after The Shadow of the Wind, but I think it's like the third book in the series and not the second, um, but I don't know. Then is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, and then The Way of Kings and Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. I also own a mass market paperback of The Way of Kings, which is my preferred way of reading them. So yeah, those are all the books on my TBR shelf right now. Um, like I said before, these aren't all the books I own that I haven't read. Some of them are at school, and I'll include that list at the in the description if you're interested. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested, the next part of this bookshelf tour, which will be my manga, both unread and, and read, that part will be up pretty soon. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.